Hi folks, I got a new channel to promote this week and it happens to be my great granddaughters. She's going to be four and she decided she wanted to have her own YouTube channel. I'd uh, like you to go take a look at her channel. Your kids can watch it because unlike mine, there's no swearing in it and uh, appreciate it if you check out her channel. The link will be in the description and uh, have a good day. Thank you folks. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I got a voicemail about my Social Security. So um, what was the voicemail regarding about? So there was activity on my social to call this number. I don't know what the hell's going on. And did you receive any case ID number or any reference number? No, I didn't hear one. Can you help me out with your name? Yes, first name is Connor, C-O-N-N-E-R. Mm-hmm. Last name Lingus, L-I-N-G-U-S. Can you help me out with your zip code? My zip? Yeah, 13118. Yes. Okay, and now for security reason, can you verify me the last four digits of your social? 1463. Alright, just give me a quick moment, let me just go ahead and pull up your records. Okay. I'll let you know while you're receiving a call from a department. Okay. Um, Mr. Connor, are we still connected? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Can you please verify me your mailing address? 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. 100 Main Street. Right. Moravia, Moravia, New York, 13118. All right. Just give me a quick moment. Let me just go ahead and confirm the address. Okay. Well, thanks for being on hold, Mr. Connor. Yeah. Are we still connected? Yeah, we're here. Where are you right now, Mr. Connor? I'm home. So I've just uh, got your case file over here in my system, and I can see that this call is to inform you regarding some illegal enforcement action filed under your social security number. And we have got an official order from the higher authority to go ahead and suspend your social security number on immediate basis. What higher authority? From the law enforcement. Because we have found many suspicious activities done under your social are you aware about the situation? Oh, no, I'm not. And did you receive a phone call or any sort of notification from the DEA to inform you about this case? From the DEA? No, why would they, yes. call, why would they call me? To inform you about this case? No, they don't call me. So, uh, Mr. Connor, before we proceed further, I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen so that you can note down some important information. Okay, go ahead. First of all, you can note down your case ID number. Let's start with letter B, D as in Delta, letter yep. C, yep. D as in Charlie, yep. number 7, yep. number 0, number 1, number 0. Okay. And secondly, I want you to note down your warrant number, that is number 5, number 3, number 7, number 5, number 4, and number 2. I repeat again, it's 5-3. Seven five four two. Now you can note down my name. My first name is Jeffrey, and the last name is Milton. Nelson, you said. It's Milton. M as in Mary. I as in Indiana. L like a Lucy. T as in Tango. O as in Oscar. N as in Nancy. Okay. And also, if you need, then you can note down my badge ID number. That start with letter V. V like a victory followed by the number four, number zero, number three, number four, number six, and number eight. I repeat again, it's B as in Victor, 403468. That's my employed ID number. Okay. So sure, Mr. Connor, before I go ahead and give you any kind of information, I would like to notify you that the line which we are talking right now is a federally recorded line. It's a three-way conference call between you the Department of Homeland Security and the Social Security Department. Homeland Security. So whatever you speak. Yes. What? So whatever you speak or okay. whatever you speak or come, it must be true and honest. All right. Sure. And while I'm giving you the detail, I want you to listen to me very carefully, and make sure you do not interrupt me in between. If you have any question or doubt, I will give you a fair enough time to speak and raise your question once I'm done giving you the detail. Are we clear? Yeah, I'm clear. All right. So now, the investigation started when we found an abandoned car 
at the South Board of Texas. The make and model of the car was 2013 black Toyota Corolla with a VIN number TX2440. So when we investigated the car, we found some blood stain and drug residues inside it. And hence, after the further investigation, we found out that the car was rented under your name. Well, I'm in New York. Uh, how would I run a car in Texas? I'm Mr. Connor. I want you to listen to me very carefully. I am, but you're I'll saying you... stuff that I'm not in Texas. I will give you time to speak, Mr. Connor. If you have any questions, uh, I will give you time to speak. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then after the further investigation, we found out that the car was rented under your name and under your personal information. There were also an address linked with the title of the vehicle. That address was from the city of Raleigh, which was later on raided by the U.S. Marshal and State Ranger. But unfortunately, there was no one available inside the residence. Okay. However, they have successfully recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is a highly abusive drug, and some documentation related to some financial institutes, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And all those entire paperwork has your name on it. And thousands of illegal money has been wired from those bank accounts, locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious in the eyes of law enforcement. And we are supposed to take this issue to the FBI headquarters based on the strong evidence. And moreover, Mr. Connor, we have also discovered more than 15 bank accounts with more than seven to eight credit cards which has been opened and operated. 78 on the credit cards. Did you say 78 credit cards? Seven to eight credit cards. Oh, okay. That is the only reason right now the name is under the federal investigation with two criminal charges, which is drug trafficking and money laundering. And there was a warrant out for arrest. Warrant for who? Can you let me know, Mr. Connor? Can you let me know, Mr. Connor? Do you have any explanation in your defense? Regarding this criminal life, in my defense, your what have I got to defend? I haven't done anything. Why? What do I have to defend? I'm in New York. The car is in Texas. The house is in Texas. I'm in New York. What is there to the car defend? Car was rented under your name, Mr. Connor. Well, I didn't the car do was it. Rented under your name. Well, well, how the hell do I know who did it? So basically, you're tra telling me that you don't know anything about this case. No, I don't know anything about this case. Have you ever been to the state of Texas? Mr. No, Tom? I never been to Texas. Um, have you ever happened to lose your wallet? No, I Mr. never lost my wallet? wallet. Never lost my wallet. And have you ever entered your personal information online? No. Or do you suspect any one person who might be using your information? No, I don't know of anybody to have my information. See, Mr. Connor, I'm not pointing you directly that you are the person who is doing all this kind of... Well, then why have you got a warrant out for my arrest if you're not pointing the finger at me? But the thing is that we believe that it might be a case of identity theft, and we think that somebody well, might have well, got... So do I. So why have you got a warrant out for me? Because right now, you, you are the primary suspect in the eye of the government. Everything that took place at the south border of Texas... I'm in New York! And the car which we found on the south border of Texas has been rented under your name and the address has been rented under your name and all this documentation, I, all the paperwork we recover from the address and the bank all the banking I don't think like you're bank quite America, I don't think you're quite understanding. All those bank accounts have been opened under your name. Jeffrey, Mr. Listen, Connor. I'm in New York. The car's in Texas. How could I possibly mm -hmm. be in two places at once? That is why, Mr. Connor. We believe that it might be a case of identity theft. Well, we it absolutely is that. So why is there a warrant for me? Why don't you put a warrant out for the person who stole my identity? Mr. Connor, you are the primary suspect in the act of government. Your information was involved in those criminal activities. Your name was involved in those criminal activities. So that makes me a suspect because somebody used government. my name. Exactly. That's the reason I was asking you whether you have lost your wallet or any of your personal belongings. Boy, oh boy. So what are we supposed to do here? And Connor, we were not supposed to give you a call today. We were supposed to send the local cops directly to get you arrested, but we are local to go cops? Your past well, why would the local cops come to my house? I told you, Mr. Connor, you are the primary suspect in the eye of the government. And the I government told you I can't be a suspect because I can't be in two places at once. All right, now let me just do one thing. Let me just connect your call to one of my senior officers, who is the authorized person regarding your case, all right? 
So we'll let you know what you need to do in order to remove your name from the sensitive case of yours. Well, right? yeah, you gotta so remove, remove my name. Process. Just have a word with one of my senior officers and see if something can be worked out. All right. My wow. job is just my job is just to give you the information. Okay. All right. All right. Just give me a quick moment. Let me connect your call. Yes, uh, your call has been transferred to Senior Officer Nathan Lee with the DEA in a settlement unit. I believe I'm connected to Connor Lingus, right? That's right. Okay, now, uh, Mr. Lingus, he was having a word with one of my paralegal officer at the Social Security Administration. Yeah, Jeffrey Milton. And he says something about some car in Texas. I'm in New York. Some house in Texas. I'm in New York. But there's a warrant for me. Yeah, as for the conversation, you are saying that you don't have any idea or knowledge. What well, no, I don't have any idea. No. And that's the reason, uh, Mr. Lingus, your call has been transferred to our department, stating that you have a positive intention to cooperate with our department to remove your name from this case. And also to find out... Well, the just remove it. I, I didn't do it. Yes, but first we have to, we, we, you will have to cooperate with our department so we can first of all cancel your arrest warrant. Because the first thing is, if we are not able to cancel down your warrant, then we will have to follow the legal procedure by taking you in custody for further investigation. But as you are saying that... Taking me into custody? In case, I didn't do anything. First, okay. Oh. Owner, listen to me very carefully. Well, you're making me okay. upset here. I'm 70 years old, and you're That's talking about sending me. the cops. Connor, I'm not here to make you upset. I'm here to help you. Because, as you are saying that you are not involved in the case, I have checked your past record and your past information in our system, and I simply find that you don't have any case like drug trafficking or a case of money laundering. Oh, no, I don't have none of that. Federal organization in your past. And that's the reason I have already updated your past record and your information to the courthouse and also the recent development of the case, stating that you are not involved in the case and it seems that somebody has access to your personal information, maybe a criminal or criminal organization. Well, I'm sure please it's a criminal. Yeah, I mean, that, you, that doesn't take an Einstein. Please find a use. Yeah. So first thing, like, uh, make sure you don't hang up the line or put the call in a mute because we have already updated your information to the courthouse and the cancellation process uh, we are starting the cancellation process of the IRS warrant. Yeah, do so that. Until I, confirm, that. Until, I, until I get the confirmation from the courthouse that your warrant has been cancelled, that all the false charges has been removed from your name, you make sure to not hang up the line or put the call in a mute. Okay? Yeah, sure. And once once we are able to cancel your warrant, uh, I will be setting up an appointment for you on the recorded line. You will get the name of the federal officer and the batch ID who will physically come tomorrow at your doorstep to provide you the paperwork to get you more detail of the case by having a counseling session with you. Counseling and after session? The counseling well, session I'm you 70 will, years old. I, I, I'm 70 years old. What do I need counseling on? They will have to explain you and get you a new social so we can make sure that you don't face this type of legal Well, I certainly don't need any counseling. It's up to you. But first thing, we have to cancel your warrant. Well, and cancel I also it. have to inform you that right now we have to freeze and shut down all the bank accounts which are being opened on your name and which are linked to your social. Because in your file, uh, Mr. Lingus, right now there is exactly 21 bank accounts. We I only got open. one. I got one. So we are going to shut down the bogus account, which are open by okay. the enforcer, and we make sure that we safeguard your personal account. Okay? Okay. Shut down so his and I will leave update. mine alone, and I we're will all up. set. Okay. So I will fill up the asset verification form for you, and I will update this to the treasurer department, so they can differentiate which are your legal account and which are the enforcer accounts. So first thing first, can you help me out with the name of the bank that you are banking on? Bank of Warsaw. Bank of? Warsaw. Just one second, let me check that first. You say Warsaw, right? I said what? Just one second. So can you help me out? It's that Warsaw or Martha? Warsaw. W-A-R-S-A-W. Okay, Warsaw Bank. I got you. Now, in the Warsaw Bank, uh, do you have a checking or saving type of account? I got both. Okay. 
So what I'm doing is I'm updating this to the Treasury Department so they can take this information on behalf of you as like your statement and with those basic details they will just put your account on the safe side because we don't want your account to be getting free. Near okay? do I. So you have a checking and a saving in the bank of Warsaw, right? Yes, yes. Okay. The last thing is you have to verify me on the recorded line the exact amount which you have in your checking at this point of time. My checking probably 1800 1800 and I believe that that is not the exact amount, right? Oh, I'm guessing it's close. Okay. And what about your savings? 2500 2500 Now, as this information will be verified at the Treasury Department to verify you and to verify those details, to make sure that these are your legal accounts. And with this information, your account will be safeguarded in case if the information is not up to the date. Okay. Then we will just simply freeze your account and you cannot blame our department for that. Freeze my okay? account? Of course I'll blame your department. I, why are oh, you no. freezing mine? We are safeguarding your account. Listen carefully, Connor. Yeah. So, before I update this to the higher authorities, let me confirm you one more time, because this is about your accounts, your hard-earned money. Yeah, it's now my hard-earned money. You have one bank with the Bank of Warsaw, and you have a checking as well as a savings, right? Right, right. And in your checking, you have like $1,800. That's so right. I believe you don't have more than $2,000, right? Well, no. If I had more than 2000 okay. I'd tell you. I got 1800 and in your savings, two thousand five hundred dollars. Right? Yeah, right. Not more than three thousand. Okay. No. So yeah, Mr. Connor, just be on the line. Let me forward this on an immediate basis because before the investigation takes place on your accounts, which are linked to your social, before the account will be getting freeze, I will have to update this to the treasury officer, and then they will guide you with the proper instruction to make sure that your account will be safeguarded. Okay. Okay. Just give me one minute. Okay. Hello, uh, Mr. Lingus, can you hear me? Yeah. So right now, as I have the update from the higher authorities, as your account, the Bank of Warsaw is also linked to your social, uh, and as per the information, there are some illegal or suspicious activities taking place in your account as well. And that's the reason your account will be uh, on hold is it will be going through a special type of investigation process at the Wait, department. I thought mine was going to be all right, you said. Exactly. So before the investigation takes place, what you need to do is you will have to go down to your bank and you will just have to safeguard the amount which you have in your checking and in your savings. So I got to so take all that money be... out and bring it home with me? I, I don't want to bring all that money, carry it around. No, no. I'm 70 years old. I'm not money. carrying all that money. You are not carrying the money. Listen first. Okay? Well, some young you punk just come to... up and stole it from me. Nobody stole them. Uh, nobody is going to steal the money from you. Are right? you going to Those come with me and protect money. me? Are you going to send a policeman with me? See, Mr. Lingus, what you need to do is you just have to withdraw the money from your bank and you just have to secure the money in a form of a plastic federal bond. So in that way, you will be able to safeguard the money as well as that funds will be legally registered on your name if you safeguard those funds in a form of a bond. Uh, and tomorrow once the officers show up at your place, once they help you out with every of the paperwork, you just have to show them the bonds which you will be safeguarding today and after that the money will be credited back to your account or it will be refunded back to you in a form of a certified check. So that will be an option for you. Okay, how about, if I, how about if I just take the money home with me for an option? No, you cannot just keep the money with you. Why not? Because it's my money. Right now you it's my money. That you it's are, my money. You and your account. Right now, Mr. Lingus, if you can understand what I'm saying, then I can help you. Okay. If you don't understand, you will make mistakes, which will put you and your account in a legal trouble. So listen very carefully, okay? I'm not here to play with you. I'm not here to waste your time, okay? Play with so me. So first tell me, like, uh, Mr. Lingus, how far is the bank from your place? How much time will you take to reach your bank? Uh, I can't go there anyways. It's a snowstorm. You can get your get in a car and you have to go to your bank. There is a snowstorm, I said. There's only emergency travel allowed. 
Yeah, you can travel because it's an emergency for you. How is this an emergency? Because, because if you know the sheriff you said the sheriff account, was on TV said all cars stay off the road except for emergency travel. It's up to you, Mr. Lingus, because it's your money, not my money, okay? The money which you have in your account are your heart and money. If you cannot go to your bank and secure your money, you'll just lose all the money as well as you get your account on hold. So you want me to go out so in a snowstorm and go to the bank and get this money? See, you might have some problem with the transportation, but you can find a better way. Find a better way. I don't. Ha I haven't got a snowmobile. How? I don't know what you're talking about here. Okay, then you just do what you need to do. Okay, to safeguard your money. I don't think I can help you because first thing you are not uh, willing to go to your bank. I didn't and say I wasn't the willing. I, I said I. I uh, Mr. Lingus, as for the weather information, I have checked in the system. I see that you have a very good weather at your place. I don't no, I don't. It's snowing like a son of a bitch here. Okay. So you just try your best and make sure you contact your lawyer. I don't have a lawyer. I don't have a lawyer. I don't have one. Oh, boy. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, well, I got to talk to Nathan Lee. I was talking to him. We got disconnected. Nathan yeah. Lee. Yeah. Okay, can you please hold up? Yeah. Hello? 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 Yeah. I somebody you were going somebody was going to connect me to Nathan Lee and I got disconnected again. Welcome to our voicemail system. You have reached the mailbox of 